yes, we can always call upon your name. And you have given us this assurance this morning. So even as we come into your presence, we want to ask God's guidance as we have a morning devotion. Thank you, dear Father, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity. We can once more call upon your name. Be in charge of this morning's devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we are looking at the King James Version of 1 John 1, 5, which says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. God is saying to us, I am sovereign and I am good. And these are essential truths about who I am. When you are struggling with the brokenness of this world, it can be a challenge to believe both truths and simultaneously. Because I am sovereign, I am ultimately in control of everything that happens to you and to others. And this knowledge is sometimes hard to swallow, especially in the face of atrocities or catastrophes. Amid such carnage, many people uh, conclude that only a cruel God could be overseeing a world like this. Let me assure you that I am absolutely good. I am pure light, and there is not a iota of darkness in me. My absolute goodness in the face of so much evil is totally beyond your understanding. When you are struggling with these mysteries, Come to me, express yourself freely to me, trusting that I care and understand. Then abandonate your finite mind to my infinite intelligence and sovereign ways. Relinquish your demand to understand and rest in my compassionate presence. Cling to me in childlike trust, believing that my way, though mysterious, is perfect. Express your concerns to me, even the ones you are scared to admit. Believe that I know what I am doing and rest in my loving presence. And these are words of assurance. These are words of confidence. These are words that should encourage us to keep trusting in God. Keep understanding who God is, right? Because he said, in him, there is no darkness at all, Right? Let us understand that God is light and everything around him shines brightly. Thank you, dear Father, for your counsel. Thank you for your admonition. May we take heed and understand who you are and what you mean to each and every one of us. In Jesus' precious name we pray with thanks. Amen.